Okay, so Mythbusters. Uh, there is no $80,000 limit. I told you that. That when a veteran or, veteran or his spouse is in a nursing home, there's a misconception that once you're in a nursing home, this benefit goes down to $90 a month. That is not true. While you are private paying, the full benefit is still paid out. Okay? If you go on Medicaid and you are not married, the benefit goes down to $90 a month. But if you are married, there is still a situation where your spouse can get the full benefit. So we have veterans who are in nursing homes on Medicaid and their wives are living in an assisted living and the wife gets the full $2,054 a month. Okay, so, and that's a very common myth. Constantly, we have nursing homes telling people, oh, don't bother to apply, it's only $90 a month, when it's $254,000 a month. Big difference. Um, and that a veteran living at home whose wife is in an assisted living facility could still qualify for $1,360 a month. And now I'm going to turn it back over to Arthur. So wasn't that breathtaking? <laughs> By the way, one of the one of the many things um, that that Patty uh, taught me in the course of our uh, my dealings with her, because I had always, you know, we, we, we I've never claimed to be the expert on the veterans benefit, was this issue regarding uh, nursing homes. I know it's not directly related to today. So that if you've got a spend down issue where you need to be making it past some period of time in order to get past the five year look back period, uh, and so you're on, and so you're in the nursing home on private pay. That veteran's benefit is available to that person in the nursing home on private pay. It's really, a, that was an amazing thing. Um, so I'd, li I'd like to be taking any questions regarding, you know, from regarding any of this. It's just a gigantic amount of material. But once again, going back to my my friends, Frank and Mary. Oh, there's one, there were, there were, there were a couple of references that Patty made to, to this. Um, that you can do some advanced planning, she referred to it as, before you apply for the veteran's benefit, and that advanced planning can be transferring your assets, for example, to your kids. Uh, and right now, there is no look back period regarding transfers of assets in terms of qualifying for the veteran's benefit, right? You probably wanna be doing it in, in, a, in an appropriate way so that if later on down the line you need mass health, you can deal with the fact that that asset transfer for mass health purposes may be deemed inappropriate unless you're doing some other things, so you may want to deal with it. But even our my lucky person here on Nantucket with this very valuable house can still qualify. But to, to, to end, remember Frank and Mary, remember those assets, so they qualify to live in her facility, right, with no uh, monthly spend. As a matter of fact, they would be living in her facility and they'd still get some of their income, even if they had that single, right, on their income because they're, they're married, if he's a veteran, they've got that extra $2,000 a month going into that facility, so they're keeping all of their assets. Thank you very much. Oh, could I just, any questions? Any questions from any?